Okay. Sure. Good. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. So you guys know what this channel is about, running shoes. But I get so many questions about the clothes that I wear when I run, and I just never think to make a video about it. Why don't we stop talking about the footwear for a week and talk about, finally, the running clothes that I wear. So that's what this video is gonna be today. We're gonna go from the ground up. We're gonna talk about my recovery shoe. So I lied, we are gonna talk about a shoe technically. Uh, my shorts, my tops, my sports bras, my hats, the whole thing. I know it's kind of late August, but there's still gonna be plenty of hot days out there. I mean, think about it. New York City Marathon last year was pretty hot. So you just never know what you're gonna get these days in terms of weather. So better late than never, right? Before we dive on into the running apparel, I do wanna ask that you please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 10K. I'm getting there, we're climbing on up, but I can't do it without the help of all of you. So if you just wanna see more running content, more running shoe content, and if you also wanna see a weekly update on my training for the New York City Marathon, I do a reel every week. Go follow me there and you'll see how I'm doing with all of that. One other thing I wanna say before we get started is that some of these items that I'm gonna talk about today were sent to me by the brands and some of them I paid for with my own money. But just because the brand did send me these items, it doesn't mean that I'm forced to talk about them in a positive light. I can say it literally whatever I want about this stuff. And I will. I will link as much of this stuff as I can, so long as I can find it <laughs> online, uh, in the description of this video. So if there's anything that you wanna get, the link will be down there. Just click it and get whatever you want. It's not an affiliate link. It has nothing to do with me, but these are all products that I believe in and I really enjoy. Okay, so we're working from the ground up, like I said. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what I wear on my feet when I'm in the house, recovering from a run, uh, maybe I just finished a long run, or I'm simply just hanging out. That is gonna be the Ufos Ua sandal right here. These were actually gifted to me by my best friend Kate uh, for a birthday, I think, of mine. And it's funny because before I got these Ufos, I was a Crocs girly. But when I got these Ufos, the game changed. These are so soft and comfy. They fit so nice and it is the best feeling after a long run. I would know, I just ran 15 miles, came home and directly, immediately put these on without hesitation. I have had other recovery sandals in the past, but I had issues with rolling my ankles in them because they were a little bit high off the ground. I like that these are a lower profile, um, so you're still getting that comfort and that squish, but you're not risking your life and rolling your ankle in a rubber sandal. Next up, let's quickly talk about my socks. I really only wear two brands of socks that I can think of off the top of my head. My tried and trusted two brands of socks. And the first one is Right Sock. Have a pair right here. Here they are, here's one pair. This is an ankle sock. I also have like a quarter length sock. They have two layers of fabric and that is supposed to help prevent you getting blisters from the socks or any kind of rubbing. I have never had a problem in a right sock before. The other brand, I'm literally taking the sock off my foot as we speak, uh, but the other brand that I run in is Bolega. I really enjoy these socks when I want something a little bit thicker. I wore them today for 15 miles, had no issues whatsoever. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with Belegas, probably wear them already. Uh, but what I like about them is that they have this nice little lip in the back to help prevent getting uh, Achilles rubbing. They have what feels like a little bit more cushioning in them than the right socks do. Really enjoy these socks, can't go wrong with them. So now let's get down to running shorts. Something you need to know about me before we start this is that I do not like anything lower than a five inch inseam. So if it's like three inches, 2.5, I really don't like that at all. It's not for me. Really, I prefer a seven inch inseam. First up on the list are these Jonji Pace shorts. 
I have run so many miles in this pair of shorts and I have many other pairs of the John G.P. shorts. I've run several marathons in the John G.P. shorts. There's two pockets, so you have one on each side. These have really been a workhorse for me in my training, in my racing. I have gotten my money's worth out of these shorts. Next up on the list are the New Balance Impact Run Fitted Shorts. I literally got these off of Joe's New Balance outlet. <laughs> I actually wore these for the RBC Brooklyn half and loved them. These shorts hold me in place. They have plenty of storage for gels and my phone. Uh, they actually don't have any grip, but they still don't ride up. And they smell disgusting because I just ran 15 miles in them and took them off my body for this video. Next up are a pair of shorts that really caught me by surprise and not think I was gonna like them as much as I do. And that is the Say Sky Compact Plus shorts. They are a little bit shorter feeling than my other seven inch inseams. And the pockets on the sides are a little bit lower so they don't come up as high as uh, some of my other pairs of running shorts do. But I gotta say, when I put these on, I gave them a shot, I was, completely wrong. The pockets still hold plenty of stuff. You can put goose in here, your phone, nothing's fallen out of the sides. And these also do have a zipper pocket on the back. These are great shorts to race in also, I've found, just because of how compact and tight they are. As you might know from just watching my running footage or reels of me on Instagram, I like to run in a sports bra pre predominantly in the summer if it's really hot. Um, and I won't wear a shirt, so I guess we'll talk about sports bras first. So the first one I have here is the Bandit Super Beam Bra. It might be hard to tell here, but this is actually like a V-neck kind of bra. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that, but I actually don't mind the V-neck as much as I thought I would, and this bra really holds me in well. There's also a pocket. It's supposed to fit your phone, though I haven't exactly gotten it in there yet. I don't know how it could, but it is very stretchy. Uh, there's a pocket in the back here. The next bra I have talked about quite a bit on this channel and it is the Rabbit Utila bra. This has been a staple bra in my collection for a long time. Um, it has lots of coverage. It's a little bit of a longer bra. What I like so much about this bra is that while it holds you in place and is comfortable, all that good stuff, it has a very big sizable pocket back here that you absolutely can fit your phone in and I have done many times. Uh, and maybe a gel, maybe a key, something like that. I have been wearing this bra for years. I have it in different colors. It is one of my favorites for sure. It does have cups in it, so if you don't like that, you can just take them out. It has run many long runs with me, many marathons. Oh, camera ran out of space. Camera ran out of space, we're back. Okay, so what about the days that I want a little more coverage? Maybe I don't really wanna feel so revealed. I wanna wear a tank top. The first one is a little bit different from the others, and it is the Soar Race Vest. Now, you might be wondering why I would wear this because it's basically like wearing a sports bra. I mean, it's pretty minimal, but trust me, when you wear this over your sports bra, you do feel a little bit more covered. This is very, very airy and comfortable and soft. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but if you're looking for something kind of fashionable, trendy to wear, this is a very cool crop top. Next up for tank tops is a very smelly one because I just ran 15 miles in it. Uh, but this is the New Balance Ice Tank or something like that. I have to look at the right name. I've had this for a really long time. I ran Chicago in this shirt. I love the color of it first and foremost. That's what really gets me. Um, but it has a lot of ventilation in it. So while it might appear to be thicker looking, um, it actually is very breathable and perfect for summer. I also like the way it's cut on the neck. The sleeves aren't really, really skinny. It gives you a nice amount of coverage. It is pretty much my number one go-to tank top that I own. Maybe on a ridiculously hot day, I wouldn't go for this just because it is a teeny bit thicker. Um, but my other tank top that I'm about to show you is perfect for a very, very hot day. And that is the Bandit Running Airwear Performance Tank. I love the way this tank looks, first of all, first and foremost. It has a crew neckline, which I, it's my favorite looking thing with sort of this like muscle cut out, arm sleeve sort of vibe to it. Bandit is known for the look of their stuff being trendy, hip, sleek, 
It's a really cool running brand. If you're not familiar with them, definitely go check it out. Yes, some of their stuff is a little bit pricier, but I think if you're looking to run in style, then it's worth it. The reason why this is functionally good is because it is very thin and breathable. And plus the armholes are pretty long, so it has plenty of air passing through those sleeves and cooling you down a little bit. Not only is it functional, it is also fashionable. Sunglasses. You guys ask me about my sunglasses quite a bit. Here is the case, they are Oakley's. And they are the Oakley Sutro Light Sweep Vented. What does that mean? Vented means, see all these holes here at the top? That's ventilation. That's to help with the sunglasses fogging up in the humidity. They're very comfortable. I really enjoy them. I love the look of them. I think they're super cool, um, but they are a little bit hot still, even with the ventilation. So on a very, very humid day, I'm probably not wearing these. Um, and I also don't think they're made for running. I think they're made for cycling, but I don't care. Um, I actually got these online. This particular colorway was on sale and they were super cheap compared to what they usually are. I think they're like usually $180 and I got them for like 90. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And I couldn't pass up the deal. So these are the Oakley Sutra Light Sweep Vented. Okay, last but not least, hats. I feel completely naked without a running hat on. So we're gonna talk about two of my favorite running hats that I have. And this is an honorable mention. I just got this the other day from, uh, I think Believe in the Run sent me this. It's a CLE New York hat. So very excited to keep running in this. First up is this Mizuno running hat. I actually got this hat at my local running store that my best friend works at. Uh, Mizuno was there doing a coffee run. They were giving out some free swag. So they were giving them out for free. So I took one. Oh my God, it's the best running hat. It fits so well. It's really, really comfortable. It's lightweight. I honestly don't know if I'll be able to find this on their website and link it because it was just like free swag they were giving out. But this is one of my top two favorite hats. The second one is this bandit running hat. Ooh, hold on. Here we go. Almost there. Perfect. See all these holes here? I love that about this hat. It is the perfect, very, very hot day running hat. Perfection, love this hat. Go get it if you don't have it. So guys, those are all of the items that I have been wearing this summer to train for the New York City Marathon. Again, I will try to link as much of this stuff as I can in the description below. If I can't, I will put it a little note there that says I couldn't find the item, but I think for the most part, I'll be able to uh, to link some of this stuff. What are your favorite summer running items uh, as far as clothing goes? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe try out some of the stuff that you guys recommend. Well, everyone, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it down below and subscribe. When you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. See you next time. Is that nice? You like that ad? <laughs> she definitely hates it.